Why has Airbus built the A321 XLR? Why did Airbus build the A321 XLR? Why did they look at the market and decide that it needed an aircraft that could fly 4,700 nautical miles non-stop with passengers in a single aisle? And why have airlines fallen in love with the aircraft? Let's discuss why Airbus saw a need for this aircraft and how airlines have reacted. If you're new to aviation, then you might not know what exactly the Airbus A321 XLR is and why it's such a game-changing aircraft. Let's begin with the origin of the A321 XLR design. Take a deep breath. The A321 XLR is a further derivative of the famous Airbus A321 LR, which is a long-range extension of the Airbus A321 Neo, which in turn is an update of the popular Airbus A321, which itself was a stretch of the original A320. We could go further back, but it's debatable how much previous versions of Airbus aircraft can really be attributed to where we are now. This aircraft specifically has the longest range of any narrow-body aircraft ever built, up to 4,700 nautical miles. This is thanks to bigger fuel tanks within the cargo hold of the aircraft and an improved maximum takeoff weight, thus able to take off with more fuel aboard without sacrificing cargo and passengers. It doesn't improve on the cabin density of the A321LR as they're the same length and can only carry up to 220 passengers in two classes or 240 in a single class. As the aircraft is based on the Neo variant of the A320, it has all the improvements like winglets, modern cabin and powerful new engines. So why exactly was it built? There was a gap in the market that airlines were having trouble catering for. It was the medium-density long-haul routes, like between Boston and Manchester, that would be incredibly lucrative but would not make any money if a large long-haul aircraft was put on the route. Airlines were getting by via older Boeing 757 aircraft that suited the mission profile, but these planes were slowly falling into inefficiency compared to modern aircraft. Thus, Airbus saw a market demand and realised that if they could slightly improve the range on their A321neo aircraft, then they'd be able to fill that void. And boy has the market ordered the aircraft in earnest. According to Aero Telegraph, so far 22 airlines and two leasing companies have ordered the aircraft. Customers include United Airlines, American Airlines, Qantas, Iberia, Middle East Airlines, Vietjet, AirAsia X, Sky Airline, Flynas and Air Arabia. There's actually a second reason why the A321 XLR was built. Currently, a significant percentage of air traffic travelling from Europe to North America passes either through Heathrow London or JFK New York. In the past, airlines needed as big aircraft as possible to take advantage of their expensive landing slots. A smaller aircraft couldn't really do the distance over the ocean and would lose money by not having enough seats on board. But with a smaller aircraft that can fly over the Atlantic, it means smaller airports upstate can now take the aircraft instead. The airports can offer attractive incentives for airlines like minimal landing fees that would greatly increase the profit on a route. Airbus realised that airports would also technically be a customer or a tractor of the type and designed an aircraft that could fill that need too. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.